Hey everyone, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Uh, really appreciate you guys checking this out. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun and enjoying uh, making some of these videos. Actually, that's not the truth. Uh, some of these videos are quite painful for me because some of them, um, you know, on my red, my red days, I take big losses and you guys get to see that. And I uh, like to try to be transparent about that so you guys can actually um, see that and see where I made mistakes and hopefully learn from it. But today we are going over uh, today's trading recaps and I'm titling this one um, Stupid Trade because today I did all right. I got out green today. I'm up $416 on the day, um, which to me isn't much given what the market has given us today. The, the uh, market the last three days has really been, uh, it's gotten really hot. And I think it's all due to um, one stock in particular, eyes that gapped up on Friday. And it went crazy, and I think that kind of sparked a whole new uh, kind of hot market recently, which has been great. And unfortunately, I haven't been trading it that well, which sucks because, you know, I'm leaving a lot of money on the table and making some bad mistakes. So, yeah, today's um, title is called Stupid Mistake. I'm going to show you uh, my trades and the one in particular that really cost me a whole lot of money today. So let's start off today with what I traded. Um, we'll pull up my chart here. And this is a very important chart right here, the one that we're looking at here that I make. I basically log on my trades here of what I traded and then kind of or the, um, the profit on them. And so it's kind of a continuation of my profit and loss to show me where I'm at on the day, uh, whether I'm red, or green and how I'm progressing. So today started off very well. Um, the tickers I traded, I traded ANPC, uh, XELA, uh, INVO, and that was pretty much it. I did get a trade on WPG as well at the end of the day. So those were um, the stocks that I traded a lot because they were really moving. And so anyways, starting off, I had some really good trades and I really kind of scalped my way um, to going all the way up to $1,000 today, $1,047, which is an excellent run. Um, I think all the trades I had up on that run were all green and they were all uh, small winners, but enough to take me all the way up to $1,000, which is great. And I felt really good um, trading in that, that range right there. And I, did, I just did excellent. As far as my trading goes, uh, I, was, I was locked in just making trade after trade, and they were all green. So that was really great there. And until I made the one big mistake. And I want to hop over to um, the one that cost me so much today. Uh, let's see what it was. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So here we are. Um, I N V O. Okay. So let's talk about this stock for a second. This one was qu quite incredible today, and actually, I sat on my hands on this one. I did not trade this right away um, when the market opened. So here's what happened is this thing, you know, it was gapping up pre-market, and it did have, it, it did kind of fade, but once it opened up, once the market opened up, this thing just shot up, and there was, you know, which felt like no warning on this thing. It just took off. And so anyways, it started from what today at 5.30 and hit all these green candles and then zipped up into 6.75 and went straight into a halt. So um, typically my protocol with these stocks 
because we do have them from time to time. We have stocks that will go into these incredible halts where they're just moving up and up and up. And every time they open back up after a halt, they go right back up into the moon and then they halt again. And it gets kind of ridiculous. And I guess in a good way, um, the problem I have with it is that you have to be so fast to trade this stock. And to me, there's a lot of risk on it. Um, because you don't know where the top is. You don't know where things are going to open back up. And what happens on this one is I, I was watching it. Of course, I was watching it. Uh, I made a you know a few trades, I think, previously on, what was it? ANPC. So I, I was doing well on that. And, but I was still eyeballing this one on the side. And to me, I was thinking, I, I just can't chase that. I can't afford to try to hop in here somewhere after a halt and hope to get in. And the thing is, trying to get filled at a decent spot would be hard to begin with. You'd most likely have to have a much higher price to get filled on something. And so, anyways, you might get filled, right? And it goes right into its next halt. So, hey, you got in, but now that it's going into another halt, hey, that could have been the top there. And the thing, if it opens down after a halt and it starts flushing down, you know, you're really risking some serious money there. And so, you know, the alternative route you could take to it is just maybe trade very small size on it to counter that risk. But to me, they just, they're, they're so wild and crazy. Um, they're hard to get in and hard to get out of, you know, if you, if they go down and they get halted, sometimes it's hard to get out. Um, of, you know, so I just, I like to watch them until they show where their high is. And, um, so I can figure out the stock a little bit more and get in at a better time. But anyways, so I watched it and eventually, yeah, it pushed all the way to, um, 11 bucks here, 11.27 which was incredible, but as you can see, there's probably some people who got in right at the tip top here thinking, hey, it's gonna go just halt up again at some point. And guess what? It, it crushes, it fades, and people get locked into this thing with a halt going down. And so I was kind of watching it and I did, um, I got in a few scalp trades on it. And typically on these, I would wait for, you know, a flush like this and then wait for a dip after it halts or once it opens up after it halts and try to go in for a dip buy and then just wait for that next little push higher and sell right there um so i do get a few scalp trades on this on this one and here is where i had the major major mistake okay because basically i went through this exact scenario on friday and I turned into a bag holder for that day um, on eyes. So we're going to look at eyes in a second to compare this. But this is like the exact same thing that happened to eyes. And I made a huge mistake on it and I didn't sell it. And so um, here we are. I, you know, I got a few scalp trades in this and then I kind of backed away from it, which was great. But at one point, you know, right in here, we had this fade and then eventually it bounced and was curling back up. And I was thinking, hey, we've hit these resistance points here. We've hit 11.26, we've hit uh, 12.30 and 11.77, these three tops right here. And I, my thought was if it, if it pushes, you know, chance there you know there might be a good chance this thing breaks beyond those those highs and goes into this next crazy push higher and so that's what i was kind of thinking as i started to see this thing curl and so i go okay i want to be in for this and as soon as i saw this big green candle push here i hopped in thinking this thing would push through and this was such a major trap i did the exact same thing on eyes and it's like a, it's a it's a noob mistake and yet i was chasing it and i fell for it absolutely fell for it and hopped in here for that next move higher so let me know in the comments i want to hear from you guys on this exact move right here this candle if you guys hopped in here 
for that next push higher. And if you got trapped, um, please let me know what happened to you. So anyways, I got into it and it flushed, right? So I pulled the same stupid move I did last time on eyes, which was, okay, it just dropped huge. Let me get a dip. I'll get another chunk, you know, at a lower price. And then I'll, uh, once it curls up, I'll, you know, sell for the, the break even or a tiny loss. And so what happens is it continues the flush, goes all the way down into a halt. And so I had bought in, I want to show you guys, see if I can find it. Um, what was it? 1128. Yeah, right here. So I had bought in three times on this thing with 300 shares each. Uh, first one at 1052, uh, which is actually a good price. Uh, 1084. Yeah, and then into um, um, 10 of seven. Okay, so here's what, yeah. This was the move here, is that I waited for that flush down and um, popped in and what I did is I, I accumulated, right? And I averaged down. And next thing you know, I'm holding a big position, What's it? which again was a big no-no on something flushing so hard. And yet I did it. So anyways, I had to sell this one for a loss and a massive loss. So what pissed me off so much today is that once again, I fell for this, this move here, you know, we it's come and it's hit these resistant points, these three tops. And here it is looking like it's going to maybe push past that. And I should have been smart enough to realize, Hey, you know, there's going to be some serious resistance in these levels and you know, just don't bother going near the top of this thing. And, you know, I, I just I just played it wrong once again and um, sold for a loss. And so what that did is it took me from, it was like a nine, $975 loss, I think. So that took me from my high being up $1,000 today all the way down to $175. So I basically erased all my hard work today on this nice work up. And I kind of told myself, I'm like, you know what? I probably just need to walk away because I'm green, barely. I'm barely green, 175 bucks. I'm thinking I'm, I should walk away and not like get myself in any, any more trouble and, and trade down. So um, I'm gonna show you that chart again, but I wanted to compare this real quick to eyes. Check this out. Check how crazy similar this is to eyes. So this is the one I traded on Friday. Okay. And here's what happened to me on Friday. I did the same thing. I had a bunch of trades on eyes going all the way up to 986. Um, so great stuff here. And then, you know, it hit that high of 986, came and hit another high resistance of 857. And then it faded all day, curled back up, and look, it's having the same effect of this move of curling back up, but not really pushing through. And I didn't trade it there, but what I did is I traded it right in here because I was thinking, okay, here we go. This is the moment where it might push through now since we broke that high of 835. It's going to rip up and now retest 988. So I got in heavy here, okay? And I ended up doing the same thing where it uh, it dropped, flushed hard, and I was down. And so I go, well, let me just average down and I'll add another position lower on and then sell on the swing up. And we never got that swing up and it just faded and faded and faded. And this one, I completely bag held and I held into after hours. And then I had to sell the next day. So this was a very stressful day. And um, I'm going to try to link that video. Uh, I posted a YouTube video on that, of this entire move that I got caught up in and my bag holding position. 
Uh, so please go back and look at that video and read the comments too. A lot of people uh, were in the same position as me and it's kind of scary how many people got caught in that as well. Um, but we need to learn from these mistakes and realize stocks like this, they can, they can whip around like this and do these, these big, big fake outs. So uh, I'll try to link that above, uh, check that video out. But anyways, this is the same scenario that I, that I did, right? So I bag held that one, which was horrible, a horrible habit and, um, eventually got rid of it, but back to INVO. So I did the same thing here. And instead of holding this one, I just told myself, I've got to dump it. And I'm glad I did that. And I didn't hold on to this one uh, because it wouldn't have been good. I would have held on to it and had to sell probably even lower. So I just got rid of it. I got had to get rid of it at 939. And that put me at 175 bucks on the day. I ate away all my progress. So that was the big mistake today, guys. I'm super pissed about that. And um, anyways, you know, I decided to keep trading. I decided to try to maybe make my positions a little smaller, but just to try to do something to get a little bit above 175. And truth be told, I actually kept trading and went negative. Now, the good thing here is I didn't go negative that much. I ended up going negative 54 bucks. Um, but when you're up a thousand on the day and then you go down to negative, when you go red, you just, you feel horrible. And, uh, anyways, I just stayed in the game, made my small trades, trying to keep risk low. And I was able to grind and grind and grind and I got up to 90 and then I went negative again to negative 28. So I was just like, oh, I was, it's that, that gr nasty grinding feeling of just getting nowhere, making progress, stepping backwards, making progress, stepping backwards. And it was frustrating. So anyways, I was able to work it all the way back up, small little scalp trades in the right direction and ending the day here at 416. So I'm happy with the recovery, but it's just disgusting when you look at this chart, realizing I could have walked away at like 10.45 a.m., could have been done with trading, up $1,000, great progress, could have walked away, enjoyed the rest of the day, and instead I made that nasty move, and I really paid for it. So um, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you enjoy this one. Let me know how your progress went today. I'd like to know if maybe it was something similar to this today where you made great progress and got caught up in that move in a, in a bad trade and uh, had to give back a lot of your profits. Uh, that's it for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed. And yeah, let's, one more thing before we go here, let's look at the calendar. Um, quite a lucky guy that this month, um, you know, First week was great, uh, and I'm in my first big horrible bad move, my bag holding move on Friday, um, and I held that eyes position all the way through the weekend. And I don't re recommend anyone do that if you're a day trader. It just causes too much emotion, too much stress. You're thinking about it over the weekend. It plays into your emotions, and you know. Um, it's not, it's not a good feeling. It's not how you should feel as a day trader. And I lucked out once again, because come Monday, that position actually went way up and it turned out to be a, a good stock, but 90% of the time, you know, it doesn't go in your favor and you end up having to sell for a big loss. So. You know, Monday could have been easily a negative ten thousand, negative fifteen thousand dollar day. I got the good side of that, and I got you know five thousand on it, so that's been incredible. And today up four sixteen, so setting up sixty sixty one sixty on the week. Uh, great stuff. And you know, I am chalking a lot of that up to luck here, especially for Monday. Uh, let's take away Monday for a side. Yeah, realistically, you know, I should be up. I should probably be down to tell you the truth, but, um, 
yeah, even without the 5K Monday, you know, I'm still setting up 2,500 on the month. So, anyways, I'm just going to try to keep progressing here and trying to avoid making those bad, bad moves and getting caught in those bad positions because they it will come back to bite you at some point and it did in february i took a massive loss in february february was was great the first week of it and then i really just you know wednesday of the 10th i just blew up my account and wrecked it so and i do have a video on that one um Forgot what I titled it, but it's like thumbnail says so it's like a seventeen thousand dollar loss. It's it was actually more than that uh, at the end of the day. So go back and look at that video too. That's a good one to review. Um, anyways, January was great by the way too. Um, Eleven k in January, but then I ate, you know, destroyed all that. So March has been really a refocus, trying to stepping back in the right direction, putting on profits every day trying my best and still making mistakes, but getting in the right direction. So hope you guys enjoyed. Let's tune in tomorrow to see how Wednesday goes. And hopefully we get this continuation of uh, the hot market because it definitely helps out big time. So that's it. Take care. See you on the next one.